here we've got the stem, our laminated stem in position with the stem deadwood or the stem knee which is solid oak that's bolted through various places and the, the purpose of that really is to reinforce this scarf joint where our laminated stem is jointed onto the oak keel below. So that's all in place. We've roughly chiselled out this rebate for the plank to sit in. It will need fine tuning when we get our real plank in place. But for the moment we've got a thin plywood template for our plank. And this is clamped to the moulds. And our garboard plank is going to have to be twisted and clamped up into that position. Now although it, we're using 3 8 of an inch thick spruce, the plank isn't going to bend like that naturally. It's going to need a bit of assistance from some steam. The steam softens the fibres of the wood and allows it to flex more. But for now, what we want is to pretty much get the shape of our spruce plank. So we clamp our thin plywood in place. What we're going to do with this is use our hot melt glue gun and some little sticks of timber to stick onto our plywood and to take us out to where our rebate is. Now, in order for it to be a reliable pattern, we just want to make sure it, it curves up into place in a nice fair way. There's no kinks and bulges in it because that's what our plank is gonna gonna do later on. So it's good to just push it into place without so we're not pushing it down, we're not pulling it up. It's just bending in where it wants to bend in really. It also gives us a chance to just look inside at our rebate angle that we've chiselled out and just make sure that we're somewhere near where we want to be inside. Because the, the plank curves so much from this mould up onto the stem getting the right angles and depths of that rebate groove can be tricky but we're not we're not far out from here when we get our real plank in place we can just fine tune the groove and make sure our plank fits well and some little thin offcuts of timber Stick them in place with the the edge of the edge of the stick on our outside rebate line. Where the curve is tighter, I'm using narrower sticks. Further back along the, the length of the pattern they can be spaced further apart and they can be wider if they need to be.
try and hold that in place, take the clamp away. Stick one there, give it a few seconds to cool down. And now hopefully with a bit of care as long as we haven't stuck the pattern to the stem the whole template will come off If we turn it over, you can see that we've got glue sticks all the way. The, the paler softwood ones are from the last time I used it. We're using the hardwood sticks this time, and they will give us the lower edge of our garboard plank. Once we've marked that on some planking stock, we then calculate the widths of our plank that we need on each mould, transfer that, stick a batten around those points, join them up, cut the plank out, plane it up, and then we're ready to clamp it up in place and just steam the front into a curve to see how well it fits.